Come on, give it back. I will just not yet. Sorry, Taishi. Sounds like Taishi and Ayako are up in arms over something. Let's have a look. Guys. Just give me my money back. I I don't have it right now. Can you wait until I get my allowance? But that not, that's not till next week. And the new Ninja Rangers manga comes out today. All the kids at school are going to read it before me. I'm sorry, Taichi. Ah, uh, whatever. You better pay me back soon, liar face. Oh boy. Money trouble with kids? Oh my god. Why didn't you pay Taichi back, Ayako? Um, did you lose the money or accidentally spend it? Um, come on. This isn't like you. When you borrow something from someone, you have to make sure you give it back. But, I, um... Don't be afraid. You can tell me. Someone stole it. What? One of the other kids? Are you sure? Maybe it just fell out of your pocket. No, I keep all my money in my wallet inside my bag. Hmm, so whoever stole it would have known it was there. Alright. I'm gonna get the bo to the bottom of this. No! Ayako, we have to find out what happened. But... I'll go round up the others. Wait for me in the dining room. Okay. Hmm. This might be trouble. You guys. Hey, you need to go to the dining room for me. Uh, what's wrong, Uncle Cass? Nothing really. We just need to have a family discussion about something. Uh, oh, okay. Did something happen? I'll tell you later. See you in the uh, dining room. You guys want to go to the dining room? Uh, oh, Uncle Cass, what's up? Can you go and uh, wait uh, in the dining room? Yeah, we're going to have a, a meeting. Teichi, what is he doing here? You gotta help, I gave Ayaka some money, but she's not giving it back. I know. Why won't you do something? I am. Go back in the, to the dining room. Where have you been, Uncle Cass? We're supposed to be getting dinner ready. Yeah, it's gonna have to wait. Alright, what happened, everybody? And that's pretty much all we know. Ayako's really worried, and rightfully so. The money got taken right out of her wallet, after all. Now, I don't like doing this any more than you do, but if any one of you stole the money... You need to speak up. Echo, when did you first notice it was gone? Um, I think it was two days ago. Alright then. Did any of you notice anything weird going on? Were there any strangers hanging around or something? Yeah, I think I saw something. Riona was digging around in Ayako's bag. <laughs> Riona? I got chance said I could borrow her paint, so I was getting it out of her back. You, you don't think I stole the money, do you, Uncle Gas? Of course not. Now that I think about it, didn't Mitsuo just buy a new model set? It's a pretty fancy one, too. Kind of suspicious timing, don't you think? Oh boy. You're all making accusations now. Well, Mitsuo, how did you get the money for something like that? Uh? I saved up for weeks, that's how. I didn't do anything wrong, Uncle Cass. I don't trust the girl in the left uh, bottom corner here with the pigtails. On this side of the table. I even stopped buying snacks so I could uh, save up quicker. Besides, don't they say the first guy to speak is usually the one who did it? <coughs> what was that? <coughs> you are being... <coughs> Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Cass, what do we do? Alright, we're done here. This was clearly a mistake. But somebody stole the money, right? Yeah, he's right. Look, we're not gonna keep sitting here uh, flinging accusations at each other. That's not what being family is about. But I'll say it again. If one of you did take the money, you can come talk to me whenever you want. I won't tell the others. Hmm, now we wait. The only thing that accomplished was uh, making everyone doubt each other, although we'd be missing a lot more than Ayako's money if the thief had come from outside. So as much as I hate to admit it, one of the kids must have stolen it. Because the only option now is looking through their things. Really? Really? Oh! Look at this. I knew it. What were you doing in there, Eddie? 
Um, nothing. That's Ayoko's back, right? You know, you can't dig around in there without her permission. Mm, come on, just tell me what you were doing. Mm, or is there a reason you don't want to say? You're wrong! Oh boy. You didn't know anything, perhaps? Uncle Cass, what's wrong with Addie? I found her looking through your bag. Huh? huh? Did she steal anything? Huh? Oh! Something else missing? No, uh, -uh. actually, money's back in my wallet. <laughs> what? Addie. Hmm, we're gonna have to talk to her. There you are. Fess up, lady. I'm sorry, Uncle Cass. I'm really, really sorry. So it was you. I promised my friends I'd go to the movies with them, but I didn't have any money. Then why did you promise? I never get to do stuff with them. They have real parents, so they get way more allowance than I do. And you have nine of us to take care of, so I can't ask for more. My friends know I can't afford a lot, so they never ask me to do stuff with them. So when they asked me to go to the movies, I, I was really happy. I couldn't say no to that, so I just took the money. I was gonna give it back next time I got my allowance, I swear. But uh, I'm sorry, Uncle Cass. Uh, I'm glad you're paying, uh, planning to pay her back, but you can't borrow something that's not yours without asking first. That's stealing. Mm, I know. But you gave the money back, and now you've confessed, too. That's really brave of you. Hmm... The next step now is apologizing to Ayako. Think you can do that for me, Addy? But I made everyone so mad. Nobody's gonna forgive me, especially not Ayako. She looks pissed. <laughs> but... Eri-chan. So, yuki o dase. あ、私、ありがとう。そしてごめん。え、なんでなんであやこちゃんが謝るの本当はね、私、エリちゃんがお金持ってくところ。ああ。見ちゃってたんだ。わお。でもね、私、私 その場でエリちゃんのこと止めてあげられなかった。エリちゃんのことを本当に思ったら、私あの場で言うべきだった。後悔してるんだ。ふん。ああ。私の方がお姉ちゃんなのに勇気がなかった。私にもっと勇気があ
Addie came to me yesterday saying she found some money, but I guess it slipped my mind today. Seriously, Addie? Where did you find it? Uh, in the yard? And how much was And how much was it? Thousand yen. Which is exactly how much you were missing, right, Ayako? Yeah. Meaning, there's a good chance the, m the money that Addie found yesterday is the same money that went missing from Ayako's bag. There's no other possibility. Don't you guys think? Hmm, uh. I guess. Mm. Sounds about right to me. Mandaya. So then nobody stole the money. Why was I getting blamed for it? I'm sorry, Mitsu. All of this could have been avoided if I had just remembered sooner. Everyone, I'm really sorry. Sorry is not good enough! Ah. Yeah, I got called a thief. Yeah, me too. Hold on, guys. Wait. I'm the one who dropped the money, so if you're gonna get mad at anyone, get mad at me. I, I, I should have said something sooner, too. I'm really sorry, everyone. Yeah. See, Uncle Kaz is just a little forgetful. I think we should be glad none of us turned out to be thieves. Oh. Yeah, I guess. Sorry, Riona. Don't worry about it. And I'm sorry for suspecting you, Mitsu. Ah. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I probably deserved it for how I treated Koji. Hey, it's all in the past now. And just like that, everybody's happy. I'm just glad I got my money back. So now I'm realizing I'm starving. When's dinner, Uncle Cass? I wanna eat too! Me three! Oh yeah, we totally forgot about dinner. Right, well, let's get moving. And make it snappy, Uncle Cass! Yeah. Try not to eat the table while we're gone. Actually, why don't you all go play outside while we cook? We'll come get you when it's ready. Okay! I don't know if that was the best solution, honestly, but I guess it's um, it, it it worked out in the end. Mm. Uncle Kaz, Uncle Kaz! What's wrong, Taichi? It's the guy with the curly hair. I just saw him again. Are you sure? Yeah, he's in that blue truck. Probably spying on us again. It's definitely him. Alright, I'll handle it. Make sure everyone gets inside. I'm gonna take a look outside. Think you can handle the dinner while I'm gone, Haruka? Of course, be careful, Uncle Kaz. I'll be fine, don't worry. But if I'm not back in time for dinner, you guys can start without me. Okay. How old is Haruka? I don't know. I definitely couldn't cook at that age. Hmm. I don't see him anywhere. Maybe Teichi was wrong? Was he? I thought I saw a van here. But it's not the right van. <laughs> I don't see him, but I can't head downtown. Where is he? Hey, um. Ah, there he is. Oh, no, 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 Oh, the daughter of our... Um, you mean the girl with the sketchbook? Uh. Yeah. That's right. Two nights ago, she just... disappeared. Nobody knows... <laughs> nobody knows where she could have gone. You think she ran away? I don't know. We got men searching the streets and all, but they haven't found so much as a trace of her yet. And have you gone to the police? <laughs> well, not exactly. Why not? You should file a missing persons report. Yeah. I don't know that we really can. What do you mean? Well, the truth of it is, she's the daughter of a guy the boss used to do business with. Now the boss is taking care of the girl, yeah. But he never officially adopted her. If the cops found out about that, they'd ship her back to her parents, no questions asked. And we don't want that? Uh. Right. Saki-san's parents are real scum of the earth, let me tell you. Her dad gambled all their money, and then some, and then 
would come home stinking of booze and beat the daylights out of the girl and her mom. Her mom, on the other hand, was always sleeping around. Acted like she didn't want a damn thing to do with her. So then Nakahara took Saki in to protect her. Yep. Three years back, we got asked to collect on our dad's gambling debt. So the boss went over to their house. But when he walked inside... What happened? He found the guy dead. <laughs> Excuse me? Hanging blue faced from a rope in their living room. Sakistan still clutching his lifeless leg. Wow. And her mom? Probably off with one of her fuckboys. <laughs> Lady never gave a single shit about Sakistan. Which is... Which is why Nakahara took her in. Yep. Boss looks scary, sure. But he's got a good heart. It just wasn't in him. It just wasn't in him to leave Sakisan like that. And yeah, he complained at first about how much trouble it was raising a kid. But it wasn't long till he ended up a proud father. Now he treats Sakichan like uh, she's his own flesh and blood. That's amazing. Yep. But word has it, her mom's back in town. But she wants to take Sakisan back. Why now? Why now, after all this time? Beats me. Ah. <sighs> Probably so she can have a maid to do all the housework while she goes out and parties. Anyway, the boss has been uh, trying to keep the little lady in the office, so her mom wouldn't be able to find her. Which is why she was there when I stopped by. Yep. And now that she's missing, the boss is real worried. It's like he's not a child anymore, though. Couldn't she just call him if she needed to? Call him? Not a chance in hell. Why not? The girl's mute. Ooh. Okay. What? <laughs> she can't talk, Kiryu. The doctor said it's some kind of mental block. Probably from watching her dad hang himself right in front of her. That could be possible. So you see, she can't call us. And that's why she has the sketchbook. Come on, Aniki. Gotta find her as soon as possible. Please. De All right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> だから兄貴に出張ってもらって、とりあえず親父を落ち着かせてほしいんです。なんで俺なんだ。先日の一件から親父は兄貴に一目置いてるみたいです。だからここは兄貴しか収められねえと。ちょっと待て。はい。はい
Did he beat him? It looks like it. Oh my god, that's not the only thing he beat up. Damn, he made a mess. <laughs> this is not gonna solve anything. Cheers. Domo, Hmm. What do you want this time? Sorry, but I'm uh, not in the mood to talk about your little land problem. Rikia told me what's going on with the Saki. Ah, that's Rikia for ya. Never knows when to keep his damn mouth shut. This ain't your problem, Kiryu-san. Why don't you go look for her? I can't. Wouldn't be so miserable if it was that easy. What do you mean? She ran away because she didn't want to live with me anymore. I'd just get her off if I went looking for her now. You don't know that for sure. Why don't you try to figure out why she really ran away? Wouldn't be too late to catch up to her if you go now. Rikia told me Saki's mom has been out looking for her recently. Maybe Shaki uh, just wanted to see her again after all this time. Same difference. Either way, she wants to be with her mom, or she doesn't want to be with me. God damn it. Am I really worse than that miserable whore? Nagara. Yes, a Yakuza like me doesn't have any business taking in a kid in the first place, huh? That's not true. All children need it. All children need is someone who really, truly cares about them. It doesn't matter what you do for a living. The hell do you know? You think you're some kind of kid expert just because you run a fucking orphanage? I know enough. I was an orphan myself. Huh? Not only that, the man who raised me was in the Yakuza. Hmm. And since I have no memories of my birth parents, that man is more of a father than I've ever had. He might have been a Yakuza, yeah, but I love them all the same. And I'm sure Saki loves you too. But it's natural for her to miss her mom. She's still just a kid, after all. You... you, you really think? Of course. Now, get out there and find her before someone else does. But, uh, I'm kinda drunk, you see. <laughs> I can't. Why not? Look at me, Kirisan. Why well, would Zaki ever want to come back to this mess after seeing her mother? A thug like me could never compare to an actual parent. I'm just gonna have to face the facts. Zaki's gone. You really think so? Yeah, I do. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> え、なんでお前さんが俺もな、あんたと一緒で目の前に困っている<笑> お前。あんたんとこの若いの借りるぜ。行くぞ、ビギア。はい、兄貴。Find <笑> Saki. How the hell am I? Oh, thanks for talking to him, Anaki. But if we're really gonna look for Saki, I don't have the slimmest idea of where to start. Then we'll just have to ask around. We can focus on the area right around the office for now. But we're already combed every last nook and cranny. Nobody's seen her. And you don't know where her mom lives? Uh. No, sorry to say. Is there anywhere you haven't looked? Nowhere she'd be likely to turn up. Only son left and turned is Hatsumachi. Hatsumachi? Why haven't you checked there? This is the biggest red light district in the island. Chock full of hostess clubs, brothels, all sorts of smut. A kid's not gonna go anywhere near. Besides. What? 
It's the Mashiro family turf. Things get really hairy, real fast. If we showed our faces over there. Then it's settled. We're going there. <coughs> but Haneki, I just told you. That's much is the only place you haven't looked. I don't care whose turf it is. We're going. Well, you're welcome to stay behind if you think that Tamashiro are really that scary. Like hell is gonna happen. I'm coming, Aniki. Good. Please. Now let's go. All right. Arigia, oh thank God it's you. What happened here? Something terrible has happened. All right, all right. Calm down and tell me what's going on. It's Saki-chan. <coughs> huh? What about her? I I saw her in Hatsumichu with uh, some woman I've never seen before. Something felt really off about the whole thing. And you're short, sir? Oh, well, if it isn't the dashing young fella from before. This must be fate. Come on, we don't got time for your hopeless flirting. Let's try and focus. Where did you see Saki? Coming out of the convenience store over at the intersection. Some woman who was absolutely dressed to the nines. I wonder who she was. Hmm, maybe Saki's mother. You think so? Then, you really think she went back? Hard to say. The only way to know for sure is to find her and ask. I guess. I guess. <laughs> By the way, Ricky, uh, you, you gonna have a party tonight? Oh. Uh, a party? Oh shit, it's the boss's birthday. I was so distracted it totally slipped my mind. It's not gonna be in any mood for celebration if you can't find Saki, though. Then we're not doing ourselves any favors by standing around. Come on, let's go. Right. We gotta bring her back, even if it's just for today. <laughs> let's move, Aniki. Okay, isn't the... What are you doing? Isn't the, that district where my club is? I think it is. You there! In the kitchy skirt! <laughs> is it Drisha's <Dirichet's> shirt? <laughs> oh shit! Who are you? Me? Who the fuck are you? Don't tell me you didn't know you're waddling all over Tamashiro family territory right now! Tamashiro? Sh sorry, never heard of them. I, I usually try to keep my nose out of Yakuza business. Bullshit, as clear as the damn Okinawa sky. Uh, what you do for a living? I'm telling the truth. And even if I was a Yakuza, I'm not here looking for trouble. Now I suggest you leave us alone. Or else. <laughs> Wait, is that Rikia back there? You're like, hey, hide and seek is not gonna work on me, you do asshole. <laughs> ah, shit. I knew it. I'm not Yakuza, my ass. If you weren't Yakuza, you wouldn't be spending your time with this Ryudo sap. You here to try and take that brat back? Hmm? What brat? I don't got time for uh, 20 questions, bitch. Come on, boys. Let's show them what we do with trespassers. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Can I? How can I take you? No, he doesn't like that. Ah! Why? Oh. He doesn't like being grabbed. Okay, can I? Oh, ah, damn it! Not two, not two versus one piece. There we go. Ouch! That's him done. He's a big guy. How can I take this? He's not gonna give me time. Like, maybe he is. <laughs> Anyone left? Oh. Hey, can I get up here? Yeah. Ah. There we go. Beautiful. Nice. Shit. This guy really eats his spinach, huh? So, you ready to talk now? Tell me about this brat you mentioned. Eh. You listening, punk? Open your mouth or I'll open it for you. Now, did you kidnap Saki or not, huh? Look, we didn't take nobody. Some bitch claiming to be the girl's mother brought her in. What could her mom possibly have to do with the Tamashiro? Duh, the tramp's sleeping with the boss. Probably doesn't realize she's just another notch on the best bat post for him. 
In other words, you have no reason to keep Saki. Give her back. Look, we don't have her in a cage or nothing. She and her mom could be anywhere. Hmm. I think there's more to this than you're letting on. Maybe we should go pay your boss a little visit. Look, yeah. Where's the Tamashiro office? Are you out of your mind, Aniki? We can't go in there just the two of us. Eh, your boy's right. I'm gonna tear you limb from limb in there. If you really wanna die, I'll tell you. It's in the street behind the convenience store. You heard the man, Rikia. Come on. But Aniki, 